using a tapped browser is a great convenience because you can have many websites available to you just by clicking from one tab to another. However, it comes with a price. As you can see, I currently have 10 tabs open in the Chrome browser. And the price I referred to has to do with the amount of RAM required. The more tabs you have open, and the more system resources it requires. That may be fine when you have a system which has a little muscle to it. This system has 8 gigabytes of RAM. So 10 tabs isn't going to give me any problems. However, if you're running a system that maybe has 1 or 2 gigabytes of RAM, you would now see a browser that crawls. You could, of course, only have one tab open at a time. But if you are like most people, you have these tabs open for convenience. And having to reopen a tab each time you need to go back to something you're working on is just not conceivable. There is a nice little add-on to both Chrome and Firefox that can give you some relief in the amount of RAM that you use and the amount of system resources required. It is called OneTab. And what it simply does is combine all of the open tabs into one single tab and from there you can access one tab at a time or if need be select which tabs to reopen. It greatly reduces the amount of system resources used. Let me go through and show you exactly what it does. As you can see with the 10 tabs open I'm using quite a bit of the physical memory. One tab that's this little icon over here actually looks like a funnel because you're funneling all of the tabs into one. If you click on it it's just combined all 10 tabs into one tab on your browser and if you look at the memory usage on the other side it has drastically been reduced. Now you can at any time restore all of the tabs. You can delete all the tabs. You can set up groups and name them, lock a certain tab within that group, and star this tab group. Let's go back and in this case restore all the tabs and watch the RAM on the other side as it drastically increases. In case you're wondering where I found this nice little tip, it's from my friend Bill Mullins. This isn't meant as an ad, I just happen to enjoy his web log. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.